Well, good morning. Uh, time for another vlog. I just this minute got up. It's quarter to seven, and I had a beautiful sleep. And the reason I had a beautiful sleep is these. This contains some earplugs. Now, if I can get the earplugs out with one hand. Sorry, I'm a right mess. I just a second got up. But yeah, these earplugs, they are absolutely amazing. Probably the best earplugs I've ever. Actually, they're shit. Well, that was just a little joke about sponsored videos, really, which brings me to um, the first kind of topic I wanted to cover today. And it's a little kind of pet hate, really, about um, YouTube and some of the people that I watch on YouTube. What I really hate is when somebody states that YouTube is their business. It's like, hi guys, I've been really busy. I've set up my, I've been setting up my new business with here on YouTube. Uh, you know, it's taken all my time. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but YouTube isn't your business. Um, it, it's just not. It's not your business. It's Google's. It's one of Google's many businesses, and it doesn't belong to you. If you're going to set up a business, then you know, to me, setting up a business is selling a product or a service which you own you manufacture you make you you know you, you sell something that you're in complete control of and unfortunately you're not in complete control of anything that you sell or or do on um, on YouTube and it is not a business yes YouTube can for the select few if you've got sort of around about 300,000 to a million subscribers and you're getting tons and millions of views and all this that and the other then YouTube can be a source of revenue but that's the difference it's a source of revenue and not your business uh, now if you've got say you know like I said a million subscribers and, and you post a video and you're getting sort of half a million views and you post every other day you will you will make money through the ad, ad revenue you can make money through uh, when you've got that amount of people you can you know put up a, a PayPal donation just to help you out you can do a patreon page because with that with a, that amount of subscribers you only need a, a small percentage of a million people to join a patreon page um, you know, and, and away you go. So you you will you can make money through the ads. You can make money through Patreon. You can make money through um, selling T-shirts. But what you've got to remember is these T-shirts aren't. You're not producing these T-shirts. You're getting a cut. You know, of somebody else's business. They're producing them. They're selling them, and you're getting a cut of that. Uh, just just to let you know, we're going through Robborn. I managed to get a bit more stable footage. So with the stabilization as well, I thought, actually, it's not too bad. So I, I'm putting it up. I had to nip out, and I'm just nipping kind of back home while I'm talking. But yeah, so, you know, if you're selling T-shirts, uh, if you're manufacturing them and everything and getting 100% of the profit, then that is your business. If you're using some like Teespring, it's their business. It's the same with YouTube. If YouTube, God forbid, decided to stop um, sponsored ads, they decided to stop ad revenue, they decided to close down altogether, they could do it. Google's a business, and if, if YouTube ain't making them money, they'll get rid of it. This isn't like the old days where it's just up there for people to enjoy and share. This is a business, so they could get rid of it, and if they do... You, you're, you know, all these people that are relying on all the revenue from YouTube are going to be stuck. Now, I'm nearly home, so I'll carry this conversation on um, after I've had a bit of grub. So I'm going to, I'm going to get back in as old postman. Hello. So I'm going to get home, and we'll, I'll continue this conversation amongst other topics um, during the course of this vlog. I've got some real clean, clean food today. This is just simply boiled rice, green beans, and 
boiled chicken. Yeah, boring. Got a bit of uh, chilli sauce on top, but super clean, super healthy. Well, as I was saying before, YouTube, I've got to admit, that uh, food was really nice. It was bland, but it was really tasty in the end. But yeah, like I was saying before, YouTube isn't actually a business, uh, your business. It's Google's business. Um, now, like I was saying, a lot of people with, you know, 500,000 subscribers and millions, million subscribers, they can utilize YouTube as a good source of revenue. Like I say, you've got ad revenue, you've got uh, merchandise you can sell. There's uh, PayPal donations, there's Patreon. And then probably the, the most lucrative of all has to be sponsorships. So, you know, anybody that doesn't really know what a sponsorship is, it's basically if you've got, say, a million subscribers, then people are going to pay you money. A, a new kind of business or a business um, that needs some sort of advertising, it's more, it's much more better for them to pay somebody on YouTube than pay the astronomical fees that TV, especially in the UK, uh, the TV will charge them an arm and a leg for a small advert say in between coronation street or something like that prime time so it's much more um, cost effective for them to pay somebody maybe 500 pounds rather than 5000 or you know i'm only kind of guessing here because i don't know the ins and outs of this but you know to be able to pay somebody 500 pounds to mention their product within their youtube video that's kind of a sponsored uh, video um, because they can reach, a, uh, as I say, a, and if you've got a million plus, two million subscribers and you're getting, you know, a million views within a week, then they're going to pay you money to, to get people to look at, you know, your video, uh, th their sponsorship thing. A bit like the joke at the beginning of this video with the earplugs. Those that could be true. I could end up bullshitting you about some sort of earplugs just because they paid me 200 quid to do so. Um, and that's kind of, you know, probably the most lucrative way of making money through YouTube. But like I say, it isn't your business. If YouTube ever went away or there was some new law passed or something where you couldn't utilize selling T-shirts, get the ad revenue, do the sponsorship things then you know where where what are you going to do so uh, it's a great thing and i i i'm kind of envious a little bit and uh, you know i would love to be in the position where i could make money out of a hobby and that's what youtube is as a hobby that you can make money out of i'd love that but you know i don't think that's ever going to happen but so i'm not against it but what i am against is people that still say it's my business um you know and I guess some of these people with a million subscribers probably could sort of say it's their business, you know. This coaster is probably the best coaster I've ever had. I'm not getting paid. Ugh. No, but it isn't really their business, it's, you, it's Google's business. But I guess they could because they are probably making so much money. I mean, they, they could make um, the, the same amount of money as somebody working 60 60 let's not like 60 hours a week i mean here in the uk minimum wage your take home just under probably well between 250 and 300 pound a week minimum wage for probably 40 hours so um some of these people with a million plus subscribers they could do a sponsorship on a, um, a cardigan or a bit of clothing that they don't really wear. Number one they'll get the clothing for free and number two they'll probably get the equivalent of two two weeks wages of the average person for doing a five to ten minute video which they enjoy doing so you know rather than working sick or well, say 80 hours instead of working 80 hours slogging out in whatever you're doing office factory warehouse whatever 80 hours of your time your life gone into earning the same amount of money as somebody on youtube for doing a five minute video the, the, I've been talking about this for five minutes. That's how long it would take me to earn the same amount of money as somebody busting their balls in some place for uh, 60, 80 hours. So it, it is good.
for people that can do it. But like I say, um, it isn't their business and it can easily be taken away. As much as it's given to them, it can be taken away at the drop of a hat. So, you know, that's that's the my little gripe. Anyway, it's um, I'm going to wrap this gripe up now. It's a beautiful sunny day out again and it doesn't look like there's any rain on the cars. I've checked the weather online. The sky is blue and clear. There's no cloud. When there's cloud, there's always mischief um mother nature's mischief but when there's no cloud then there's you you're usually in for a good day so i'm going to get out and have a little look around and i'll bring you guys with me as well catch you later Yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day today. I can feel it beating down on this shirt. I should have probably wore a, um, a white t-shirt rather than a dark coloured one because it is really quite warm. Haven't uh, bothered with the gym today. Basically, my legs are dommed to pieces. Um, you know, really aching. Uh, it's just pointless. My, nearly every part of my body is aching to be perfectly honest with you I've done um, I think it's about five days on the trot down the gym uh, each time spending about an hour maybe a little bit more in there uh, so you're yeah, really aching and um, just the whole body just needed a break so uh, nothing better also than getting out in this weather uh, it's just a bit too hot to be uh, sweating in the gym although that wouldn't stop me you know but um, it's so much better to be out here relaxing Well, I didn't film everything in the uh, countryside. It's nice to do vlogs, but it's also nice to actually enjoy the moment and not have to keep thinking about getting footage and stuff like that. So I'm on my way home and it will be time to rustle up some grub. I'm not too sure what, but we'll see soon. So I decided to have a Chinese meal. This is, uh, I cooked the rice and added obviously the peas, but the meal itself was just a ready meal frozen from Iceland. Uh, Chinese ginger spring onion uh, chicken. Um, absolutely beautiful though, uh, really nice. So I'm going to tuck in. It's, it's been a sweltering day today. It is really hot and it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow. Um, obviously you'll see this if you're in the UK kind of like a week later. Uh, I tend to do my uh, filming maybe over one or two days and then edit it and then usually a week later after filming upload it. But uh, anyone in the UK will know we had a beautiful weekend, absolutely gorgeous, sweltering, going to be even hotter tomorrow. I um, had to put the cap on because I'm already getting a little bit burnt. Unfortunately, that's my kind of skin uh, style. Um, I go red. Uh, if I can not get too burnt then it does eventually sort of turn brown but if I get too burnt then it's going to peel off and you know I just I, the forehead's already uh, very sore at the moment probably can't see it on the camera but it is um, it's been beautiful all I've done today is spent uh, once I got back from the countryside spent most of the time in the garden to be honest with you uh, I poured myself a which I've still got one here a nice cider mixed with a little bit of apple and blackcurrant oh ice cold as well mm, delicious and um yeah just been relaxing out in the garden 
so uh, I'm going to kind of call this a day I think for this video because I'm getting a little bit kind of hot and bothered now after having a couple of ciders or whatever just want to relax and get my salad on the go probably grab a cold shower or a lukewarm shower just to freshen up um, and that's going to be about it I think for the day big thank you to the loyal subscribers big thumbs up to you guys guys and gals um, please share my content if you get the opportunity if you've got kind of Facebook or uh, Instagram or anything like that you know if you can share my content that'd be great uh, we're getting slowly towards a thousand which has been my benchmark for a long long time uh, still got about uh, well, you know almost 100 subscribers to go but uh, it's getting there so I'm happy yeah I'll be honest I'm a little bit burnt out we're just not used to this weather in in the UK um, you know we don't get that much sun we're a rainy country as you probably know through uh, watching some of my vlogs uh, when we do get the sun we tend to go out on it and stay out on it far too long and then suffer as I say I can feel uh, a very sore forehead coming on also a quick thank you to those that have found my Instagram and followed me on Instagram I, I don't do that much on Instagram to be honest but I do want to try to uh, improve my Instagram slowly I know I've looked at a lot of other people's Instagrams and they're amazing and they're brilliant. They've got everything on there and they, you know, there's so many photos and stuff like that. And, you know, I want to try to get a good Instagram and uh, hopefully get an Instagram sort of following um, as well. So, because, yeah, I do I enjoy this sort of stuff. Uh, mainly, obviously, YouTube. That's my main thing. Documenting, um, you know, bits of my life and stuff like that. Well, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the weekend. Um, try and sort my burning dry skin out. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Take care now.